Today, I'm going to show you how to take your Google Sheets and convert them into a powerful knowledge base for your chatbot. Let's get right to it. All right, for this demo, I decided to feature a dentist office, so I Googled Atlanta Dentist, and I'm going to choose the Gentle Dental Care website here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and grab their website name, and the next thing I'm going to do is head over to chatbotbuilder.ai, and I'm going to click Sign Up. Here, I'm going to name my chatbot the name of the business, which is Gentle Dental Care. Continue. And what I need to do is I need to create a knowledge base for my chatbot. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to grab their URL, their website. I'm going to go over here to Knowledge Base. All right. Um, I don't know anything about this business, so I'm just going to drop in the domain right here and click Get Links. Here I can choose the links that I want to include um, about the website for this demo. I'll just include a couple, three pages is fine, and um, maybe the location page is a good idea. And then we'll click Extract the Content. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab the text from each page that you've um, selected here, and we're going to clean it up for you. But unlike most platforms that offer a similar feature, we're not going to just leave you hanging here with text that you don't need or that is redundant. We have AI working in our favor. So we'll just click on the Enhance button here. And what will happen is we're, we're using AI and best practices in prompt engineering to better format your sections. So we'll click Add to Prompt. I'll just add the rest of these as they are. So now I can see this final prompt section here. I have all this information. I'm going to click Enhance Final Prompt. This is going to give us one more once over, and we should have a better result. So just give it a second. Perfect. Now we've got our chatbot prompt all configured. This is looking really good. So I'm going to copy the prompt here, and I could test it if I wanted to here, and I could say, who are you and where are you located? Okay, and I can see that it's working perfectly. Now, normally we would tell you to just go ahead and put this into your prompt section, but we just did release a brand new long text custom field for the first time. Over 16 million characters. We have got it covered for quite a while, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to use that right now. Let's head over to the flows section and let's go to custom fields and we're going to scroll down to account field and we're going to click add. Let's call this our prompt and the type is going to be long text and we're going to add here in the value section what's on our clipboard which we generated from the knowledge base builder right over here. All right so we can give it ourselves a description this is our main business prompt. Okay, and we just named it prompt again. Let's click continue. And so we can see that that account field is there. Now, how do we use it? Let's go over to settings and let's click integrations, open AI. And we can click right here. We have auto GPT turned on. You're already connected to open AI's API. And we'll just click edit. Here we can take this away. It was a double bracket prompt. This is going to always mirror what we have in that account field. So let's click continue and let's go ahead and test this out. So let's click on flows and let's click get link, web chat link. And let's see what we got here. Welcome, how can I assist you? Who are you, please? I am the Gentle Dental Care Information Hub. Great. Where are you located? Perfect. And so we see there's the address. Is that the correct address? It sure is. So check it out. Great. And so let's ask about the opening hours. We'll just say 
Please confirm when you're open. And so we see eight to five and we're closed on Thursday. Is that correct? Let's check it. And it is closed on Thursday. So that is perfect, guys. That is a perfect knowledge base. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a flow, update this knowledge base. So to do that, let's click add a new flow and call this update KB. All right, now we are in our flow builder. And so what we're going to do is click on that block and click add content. And let's just click get user data. Click here, we'll just ask, welcome back. How can we help update your prompt? And so I'm going to click edit. My reply type is going to be a text reply type. And I'm going to choose to add a new customer field. And let's just call this a new info. Continue. And the output underscore there. Continue. So what we've got here is a brand new custom field. And we're asking the admin or the user in this case, what do you want to update? And it'll be saved in new info and click save. So we're going to request the update. Okay. Let's go ahead and click here, drag open a new node. Let's call this one update the prompt. Click save, add content. Let's click actions. Let's set the custom field for our prompt. So we'll choose prompt here and it's going to be set to you. And so it's going to be whatever we already have in our prompt with the custom field there, along with the new information that we just collected. There's going to space in between and that's really all I need. Um, let's click on save and then we'll drag open another note here. And we'll say something like, perfect, your prompt has been updated. And if we wanted to, we could even send ourselves a preview. New prompt. And then just throw it in your custom field. Perfect. So this is looking good. Let's rename this last block. Confirmation. So we've got request the update. We will tell the bot what we want updated in our prompt. Our prompt will then be updated, and then we will have our confirmation message sent, and we'll also get to see our newly updated prompt. All right, so let's click on publish, and let's grab the publish link, copy. So we see, welcome back, how can we update your prompt? We are opening a new location on Hilton at Island, and it's important that we mention this when we begin communication with any customer, it will be opening in January of 2025. And perfect. So we see that our prompt has now been updated. And so we can see here, we are opening a new location on Hilton at Island. It's important that we mentioned that this in the beginning of the communication, when it opens. So now let's go ahead and integrate this with our Google Sheets so that our client can update the knowledge base moving forward. Let's go ahead and open up a brand new sheet. We'll call this a spreadsheet, gentle care prompt. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on share and I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna go back into my account and click on flows here. Go to settings and I'm gonna go to integrations, Google Sheets, connect. Here, I'm going to go sign in with my correct account, allow, and I'm connected to Google Sheets. Let's click manage, add. There's my sheet link and we'll call this prompt sheet. Perfect. Let's go back to flows and let's create another new flow. Let's call it Google prompt. So, all right, so we've got our gentle care prompt worksheet named. Let's add just one header. We'll call this prompt. All right, and so what we're going to do here in this flow is we'll click add content, 
actions, Google Sheets. We'll click on the Google Sheet action, and we're going to choose Get Row. And the row that we're going to be getting is going to be the prompt sheet, worksheet number one, asterisk here, and the custom field for prompt is indeed prompt. So let's click save. And we'll add another message here. It will say done. Here is your prompt. Then we'll add in the custom field for prompt. And so let's rename this to update Google Sheets prompt. Okay, so let's publish it. Great. Let's hit preview. Let's go grab this link here, paste in that link right there. So when we come over here, we're going to make an adjustment and let's just go ahead and make that last line. Let's say, you know what? Be sure to come by our brand new Hill to Dead office that has just opened up. Our grand opening party will be on January 15, 2025. So now I've updated this information. Let's go over to the update link. Let's click on the link. And we can see our grand opening party will be on January 15, 2025, which is fantastic. All right, let's make sure that we publish and click back. So now we can update the prompt from Google Sheets and from a flow. Let's go ahead and show you the last trick of the night. We'll use this update knowledge base flow with our iPhone and Siri. So let's just go ahead and grab this publish link. All right, I'm going to open up my phone and I've got the link. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go to shortcuts, create new shortcut, add action. We can do show web view and it's going to ask me show web view at URL. I'll click here and I'll paste the URL. I can hit done. And now I can see show web view and click here again. And let's choose an icon. And in this case, maybe I'll choose a yellow icon. And I could also add this to my home screen. Right. And maybe I want to do a picture instead. I can do a picture. The Thunderbolt is fine for me. I'll click add. And now I can see that my web view is indeed on my own screen. I can just tap it. And it's going to ask allow to open. I'll click allow. And it's saying, welcome back. How can we help update your prompt? And so I'm going to say, we decided we're going to also open up a location in Savannah, Georgia in mid 2025. And perfect. I see the results here. We, de we decided we're going to open up a new location in Savannah in 2025. Fantastic. We'll stop recording my screen now. Last but not least, let's go ahead and make this presentable to the client. We're going to create a new web chat. We'll click add. We'll say dentist. And we're not going to make any changes here. Um, this is just for the bot simulation purpose. Click save. And I'll just go over to marketing. We'll scroll down to the bot simulator. Paste in their website link. Choose our web chat and click get link. Now we'll be able to paste in that link. And we can see. There is our chat box. We want to change the color to their brand color. Let's just grab their color here. And you can see in the URL here, we can just hit paste. And boom, now it's blue. And I can start chatting. And we can see it's super fast. Who are you, please? And where are you located? Perfect. It could not get any easier than that. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was valuable. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, as always, let us know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.